Dr. John Palom will publish in our last HLIPM update on December 7, 2016, the following. Without a doubt, Diamondback Moth was the most surprising and severe pest to show up in Yuma this fall. In 26 years as an entomologist in Yuma, I've never seen Diamondback Moth outbreaks like what occurred in isolated fields of transplanted broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage in October, November. He also declared we're working on the problem and will hopefully have some useful recommendations by spring. This video shows some of the work that he is coordinating at the Yuma Agricultural Center. Well first, how do you detect if some insects are showing resistance to some insecticides across the state? Insects are collected from different locations such as rural Arizona, Yuma Valley, Scottsdale, Arizona, and also Populations created at labs, which are susceptible, are evaluated for comparison. He collects some plants and the fruit, and he brings them in in plastic bags. Then uh, we go ahead and separate uh, the larvae, small from large. And once we uh, separate them, uh, Gerardo makes up all these uh, diet. See, this is a freshly made diet. And this is where we place the worms. Gerardo Villegas has done bioassays with the team for several years. He explained that once worms are pupating, they transfer them to special containers with water and molasses, which is a special adult food. When adults mate, they start laying eggs, and eggs are placed in containers with a prepared diet. Interestingly, he added a secret ingredient to the Diamondback Moth diet because results were not as expected. He collected cauliflower leaves, dried them in an oven, and ground them. So he put that dust in a diet and uh, the worms really enjoyed it. When Diamondback moths reach the third instar is when they will be used for bioassays to determine susceptibility to different insecticides. Chemical mixes are prepared at the different parts per million for products to be evaluated. Then sufficient solution is placed in this type of containers. Leaves are dipped in the solution with the insecticide and placed in a petri dish. Later, 10 diamondback moth larvae are placed in each dish. Four replications are run, therefore 40 worms and third instar are used for each product to rate. Survival evaluations are done at different timings, 48 or 96 hours depending on, their, on the product, uh, which uh, implies uh, good scheduling for all of the events. A lot more work has been done right now at the Yuma Valley Agricultural Center and uh, we believe some very valuable information will be obtained and shared by John when the projects are completed. Meantime, here's a recommendation. Remember, when in doubt, scout.